Hello and welcome back to Professional Tutors, the British Online School. We are a team of qualified and dedicated teachers here to help the students to reach their full potential. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about how to rearrange simple equations and how to rearrange some complex equations. Okay, guys, bits of heads up. Just remember when you rearrange equations. Now here is divide. When you move two to the other side, that's gonna become times. So that's gonna become eight times two, which is 16. This is plus three here. And if you move a positive number to the other side, that's gonna become negative. So that's a bit of like clue for you guys to do. And here, you have to rearrange this to find x from here. So move them one by one, move eight to the other side first, and then move two to the other side. Same case here, if you want, so what we want from here is to find the value of d. So the best thing to do is to move, in this case, move minus four to other side, and then move three to the other side. And here in this case, you have to expand the bracket first and yeah. then rearrange to find C from there. I think I'll get it. Okay. So always read the question properly. That's the key thing. So M plus three equals T and we want to make M as a subject of this formula. So to rearrange, um, add and subtract and multiply and divide uh, both sides of the equal signs by a constant or a variable. So uh, that we know that already. So what we have to do, we have to move three plus three to the other side. And when you move plus three to the other side, that is going to become minus three. So do minus three, minus three, both sides. So that's plus three and minus three is going to cancel. Can and your answer, yeah. And your answer would be M equals T minus, it's quite straightforward, two Y equals G. So the best way to do this is simply divide by two and divide by two both sides. So two and two is going to cancel. So Y is going to be G over two. For example, 12 equals R plus one. You want to make R as a subject. So you do minus S minus S both sides. So plus S minus S is going to cancel and you're left with 12 minus R equals, uh, 12 minus S equals. We want to make R the subject. So this is minus four. So plus four plus four both sides. That's going to cancel. So R is going to be 3S plus 4. In this question, what you've got here, R over 4, and we want to make R the subject. This is divide. So times by 4, times by 4, both sides. And that's going to be R equals 4S. Just have a look at the answers now. So the first one. So what you have to do is 2w and you want to make w as a subject. So you divide by 2, divide by 2 both sides. So w equals x over 2. Yeah. Yeah. Here is times by 2, times by 2. So w equals 2x. Here you've got um, plus 2. So you minus 2, minus 2 both sides. That's going to be x minus 2. Here, that's minus two. So plus two and plus two both sides. And that's going to cancel and W is going to be X plus two. Here, um, times by Z on both sides. So W equals X, Z. Here, uh, divide by Z on both sides. So W equals X over Z. Here, minus z minus z both sides so w is going to be x minus z and here the same story again 
plus Z plus Z both sides, and that's going to be, so just have a look here. So Y equals two X plus eight, and we want to make X the subject. So first thing we can do is to move plus eight to the other side. So what you're gonna do, minus eight, minus eight, both sides. It's plus eight and minus eight are going to be canceled. And you're left with y minus eight equals two x, and then we want to yeah we want to move yeah. two to the other side. So divide by two, divide by two, both sides, and you're left with the uh, y minus eight um, over two equals. So here in this question, we've got four c minus d, and we want to make c as a subject. So let's start moving. So what you have to do, move D on the other side first. So that's plus D and plus D both sides. Um, and then you're left with the, so plus D plus D. So that D is gonna cancel, same thing here, plus D and plus D, that's gonna uh, cancel. And you're left with four C equals 20 plus D and here, AC equals B plus D. And then you have to, in this case, you have to cancel four from here. So divide by four, divide by four. And in this case, you have to cancel um, A from here. So divide by A and divide by A in this side. So in this case, divide by four, both sides. So that is going to be 20 plus D over four and that's going to be B plus D over, uh, so with 12 equals 3R plus S, and the working out is here, so again, quite straightforward. We want to make R as a subject, so cancel S on both sides, so minus S minus S, 12 minus S equals 3R, then we want to get rid of three, so divide by three, divide by three on both sides, and that's going to be 12 minus s over 3. This one is interesting. We want to make r as a subject. So first thing we have to do is to move or to cancel plus 2. And to cancel plus 2 is minus 2 minus 2 both sides. That's going to cancel. And you're left with r over w equals s minus 2. Now you want to cancel w from here. So times by W on both sides. So W on W is gonna cancel here and you're left with R equals uh, S minus two. Right guys, so just have a look at these questions. Um, just take your time. I would say if I give you say five minutes to do the questions, so let's do them okay. and we're gonna discuss the answers, yeah? For the first one, we want to make W um, as a subject. So first thing you have to do is to cancel minus two. So it's plus two, plus two both sides. So that's going to be X W equals Y plus two. And then you divide by X on both sides. So that's going to be Y plus two over X. Yes? Yeah. Right, for this one, it's the same thing again. Uh, w equals y plus z over x. And um, for this one, y take with 2 over x. W equals y minus z over x. W equals xy over 2. And w equals xy minus 2 and w equals x within brackets y minus 2 and for this one w equals yeah, x y minus uh, okay so let's have a look at these these questions so first we have to open the brackets or there's another way that's a simpler way um 
instead of opening the brackets, you simply cancel this. Well, this is an easier way, I think. So you can do, you can open the brackets, you still get uh, the same answer. So if you cancel four from here and B from here, so that you are left with C plus six or equals D over four and same thing here, and then move um, plus six to other side. So it's minus six, minus six. And in this case, it's going to be plus six and plus six. So you're left with this. Now, if you are doing the, the other way, when you are just opening the brackets, right guys, so just have a look at these questions. Again, I'm gonna give you a few minutes. Let's do the okay. questions and we'll come back and we'll mark them. Right guys, so let's mark them. Again, uh, it's your choice whether you want to expand the brackets or you simply move three on the other side. So if you want to move three on the other side, it's divide by three, divide by three both sides. And you can take it from there and factorize that. Okay. So for that one, um, W equals X over three, take away Y. Yep. Uh, w equals X over three plus two. And W equals X over three plus Y. y. Yep. yep. And W equals X over Z, take away two. Yep and W equals X uh, over Z O plus two. We're gonna look at uh, rearranging some more complex equations. So that's again a little starter for you guys. So what I suggest, right guys, just have a look at this question now. So three P plus Q over S equals R. In this case, we are trying to make P as a subject. So there are a few different ways you can approach this question. Um, you can either expand the bracket here first and then move S to the other side, or you can move um, S first here and then expand the bracket, or you might not need to expand the bracket. You move S on the other side and then you move three on this side and you're left with P plus Q, and then you move Q on the other side. So regardless which way you do, as long as you get the answer, right answer is fine. So what they are doing here, just move the S on the other side, times by S times by S, and then move three. So you can expand the bracket, it's your choice. You will still get the same answer. I think that's the, that's an easy one to do. So instead of like open the bracket, just move uh, that number on the other side straight away. So P plus Q, R, S over three, and then you're left with plus Q. Then it's going to be minus Q, minus Q both sides, and that will be your answer. Right, so just have a look at these questions here now. Um, if we are able to hit all of them, and I think we're okay to get two or three marks in exam. So if I can give you say a few minutes and then we'll come back and then we'll mark these questions. Okay, so for this one, is um, if you want to open the brackets or you don't want to open the brackets, your choice. Uh, but your answer should be along uh, the same line. So P over eight uh, minus five over two. Um, for this one again, uh, we want to make uh, M as a subject. So again, you can either open the brackets, expand the brackets and then move, but easier way is to move um, four on this side first and then you move two on the other side. Um, that's one way. Same thing here and that's the answer for this one, this one and this one. Uh, with these ones <clears throat> what you have to do you have to expand the brackets first. So 5m plus 5y equals 4m minus 12y. Then you have to collect the like terms, 
and then take it from there. So um, does it make sense, guys? Right, guys, so in this question, we've got a square here. So M equals um, A square to make A as the subject. So if you have to get rid of the square from here, you square root. So inverse of square is a square root. So square root both sides. So A is going to be a square root um, M. Let's have a look at this one. So we want to make A, I don't say A, let's make H as a subject in this case. So if you want to make H as, as a subject of the formula, so you square both sides, the square is going to um, cancel the square root. So square is going to cancel the square root and you're left with H equals G squared. Now, that's a bit of challenge for us. So if I, if I can give you uh, one minute to deal with this, and what we want to do, we want to make A as the subject of the formula. Let's do it. Okay, so for this one, let's move M, and let's move three to other side first. So it's minus three, minus three, both sides. And then to get rid of, uh, a square, just square root both sides. And that's going to be your final answer. Yeah. So look at this, another challenge for us. So if I give you one more minute, so let's do that and then discuss the answer. Right, so we want to make N as a subject. Yeah. So first thing you want to do is to move P squared to the other side. So it would be minus P squared. Yes, so okay. minus p squared minus p squared. Yep. Um, and then, so it's going to be my, uh, m minus p squared equals n squared. So now you want to get rid of this square. So what you so have square to root. Do, yeah, square root both sides. So that's um, m minus p square square root equals n. Right guys, these are some questions for you to answer. Um, pause the screen, let's do them, and we'll come back to mark them. If you're not sure what to do, I'll suggest if you can go back and watch the video again, and let's redo them. So here are the answers for this question, these questions. Now these questions are challenging and these will be there if you're doing the higher paper. So yeah, these are the questions here for you. Mark them. If you get them correct, give yourself a thumbs up. Uh, if you get them wrong, uh, redo, the, redo them and you'll be fine. Thanks for watching. If you find this useful, please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you find the information use useful, please like, share and subscribe.